Hi guys, working on this back sea. It's losing pressure and overflowing. It's leaking outside. Because it's a plumber as well, and those tools. Yeah, yeah. He says the same. He does the same. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, he's, he's, he's like that Joe DiCampio's going out. Yeah. Coming away. He comes to my mum's like, ah! Yeah. yeah. Three months. And I was just chatting with him and he's like, ah. The old and the new PRV was slightly different, so I had to add a male yeah. coupler on it. Guys, if your boiler's ever broken down, domestic or commercial, pulse or coil, gladial, tank system, S plan, Y plan, we repair them all, service them, we do gas certificates for landlords, ransack Birmingham site. So give us a call if you ever need our services. Thank you. Right, we're gonna also change the expansion vessel. That's also leaking. So with the PRV, I'm changing the expansion vessel as well. Right, I need to drain the system down. So I'm trying to close these valves, but unfortunately they're really they're stiff. So if I force them, they're gonna start leaking. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna drain the whole system down. Now I bet you guys are thinking, I want to drain the system down from the PRV. It's gonna change it anyway, but to be honest with you, at the time I didn't realize the expansion vessel was leaking. I thought the expansion vessel was fine, just the PRV needs changing. So I changed the PRV, and then afterwards I, I realized the expansion vessel is leaking from the top where you know you fill the engine from. So that's gonna be changed. Right, just taking the old expansion vessel out I'm just gonna put this new one in and hopefully we're gonna test it out and all's gonna be working fine thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button till we make the next video please keep smiling thank you and this is all working fine now <laughs>